to do the right thing? Because they're our trustee and they're watching all this water be given to Enbridge, um, including the city of Park Rapids. You can just pull up to a water hydrant there and suck water <laughs> if you're Enbridge. Um, but, uh, you know, so we're hoping for some le legal and, 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 you know, man, or, you know, answer for that. And in the meantime, we're going to continue our resistance. And, uh, you know, what I'm just going to say is that this is uh, line seven for a corporation that needs to start taking old lines out. I'm just saying you got 60-year-old pipelines in northern Minnesota, and it's time for some of them to just get closed down, Enbridge. And it's time for them to quit trying to divide our communities, pitting family against family, brother against sister, and for us to heal from all the damage they've done to us, you know, and uh, to our hearts, and to our bodies, a lot of us, and to our land, because our land right now is tough. It looks like uh, they, cut a, they cut a big cut across the north, and then they took five billion gallons of water in the worst drought we know. So we're having a hard time, a lot of us as water protectors, but also we, we, we remember not only who we are, but we, we, you know, for those of us who have been at these camps, I've been at the camps for quite a while now, since December, um, we've been down on the Shell River. I'm just telling that to people at Pine Point, because Shell Lake starts right over here, we all know that, and it's all full of rice. It didn't used to be full of rice, but it's because the waters are lower. You know, and so it's a beautiful thing. Let's make sure that we take good care of that rice and don't take it too early. You know, but that's a good gift. Everybody knows that's some beautiful rice there on that lake. But if you take that river down and keep going down that river, you start running into Offutt, who's contaminating our water, and then you start running into Enbridge. But if you go through there a little ways, you find this place called the Shell City Campground. I encourage everyone to go down there. I lived here almost my whole life, and I wasn't there until this year. I went there for horse riding before, but they got a horse camp and then they got a campground. The reason I'm telling you about that is Don and I have been down there for quite a while now. We welcome people to come down on Sundays. We have feasts down there. The reason I'm, I'm saying is like a lot of us, we don't even leave the res anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like who'd know that there's this little village, that place at Shell City Campground, our people lived there for like 500 years. It's a city. <laughs> it's a little village. So like I like to go out and check on the rice out there. And there's a lot of rice out there along the Crow Wing. There's a lot of rice out there in the 55 that's worth protecting. And um, you know, for those of us living down there, it's been really a beautiful thing to see, to be off the res in the 55. And so make sure we keep going out there. And um, our tribe recently, as y'all know, filed a suit against a state and the DNR and the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency for just their destruction. And that's a, and that's a really courageous thing. Our tribe has taken the lead in the rights of wild rice. And also our tribe has argued that water protectors like myself and Don and many others who've been charged, or I, Don has not been charged, but charged that we should be in tribal court, not in state court because we're not criminals. We're water protectors. And so, uh, next Thursday, I actually have a court case in Wadena County over whether I go to tribal or where I go to state court. And, um, you know, I'm hoping we, we, that our courts and our tribes can take jurisdiction in the future. But listen, I just want to thank you all for acknowledging us today. And, and uh, you know, as water protectors of water applying point, what's happening with industrial agriculture up here in Offutt, that's all wrong. And uh, so we hope to keep working on that. We plan to. And, um, and uh, I just want to say, keep keep our good water and our rice in our in our hearts and our prayers, and pray for rain, pray for rain, because that's what we need. Maybe like not a whole bunch all at once, but <laughs> you know, grateful for the water. Be grateful for the water, because that's life. But uh, thank you, thank y'all, and I just want to acknowledge all a lot of water protectors out there, and a lot of people came from everywhere to support us. And I just want to thank them, and I want to thank all the people in my community that for seven years have stood against this, this pipeline and still say as the crime is happening, we're watching it, we're documenting it, and their day in court will be. You know, so thank, thank you all, and uh, thanks for this, for this song. No,